Hi everybody, I'm Oleg Jaworski, uh, coming from GSC Game World Studio in Kiev and uh, I'm the PR director for the company and presenting Stalker Clear Sky today. Stalker Clear Sky is indeed the official prequel to Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, we released uh, earlier last year. And uh, for, uh, for this game we created a whole set of uh, characters, new story, and uh, we wanted to give players an alternative uh, kind of look onto events of the original game. So we'll be playing a year prior to the events of the original game, uh, in year 2011. And uh, we will have a different protagonist, a mercenary stalker called uh, Scar. We will still see uh, Strelok, who was the main character of the original game, however, uh, in fact, we will have to play against him and uh, in this way we will uh, see him from, from a side. For, uh, we'll, we'll give a different look onto Strelok and his doings in the zone. Um, and uh, yeah, on top of this, uh, we will have a lot of uh, other things that uh, have been redesigned, changed, introduced and uh, uh, generally the game is going to be far closer to the original vision for Stalker. Yes. Um, with Clear Sky, we, uh, we're giving players a number of new locations to explore. Um, so with some of the familiar areas that uh, they already uh, know from Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. However, we redesigned those to match the story uh, as we are playing a year before the events of the original game, like in, two year, in year 2011. Uh, we basically treat it as a big um, well, sort of pie with Chernobyl power plant in the middle and there are different slices of that pie that we open up for the players to explore and um, enjoy. Uh, overall, the environments are going to be uh, well, more sort of wild and uh, more anomalous. Uh, we really want to um, uh, to create this world uh, and present it as not only like radioactive, but also uh, containing a lot of these strange, deadly, anomalous places, weirdly shaped grounds, worlds on the, on the water. Um, and uh, I'm sure players will also notice this, this difference. Uh, and uh, the A life itself has become also more profound and more established. Um, and uh, we tried to give it more sense so that the player could understand uh, what's going on and uh, has, have this world react more to his actions as well. Uh, in fact, uh, Clear Sky we created with uh, all those. Uh, uh, players who already tried Stalker in mind and uh, we primarily targeted uh, this game to fans of, uh, of the game, already the established community. So definitely those who uh, tried Shadow of Chernobyl uh, should uh, see this game. And uh, of course given the number of like changes and new things we have in the game, I think uh, it is worthwhile to try the game for all types of players who like shooters and uh, RPG um, type of games, uh, 3D world environments, um, realistic simulations. I think this game will be very good for them.